Welcome back to Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today, I'm going to be talking about Mary McDonough, who played the character of my sister, Erin. When we first met Erin in The Homecoming, she was the tattletale, the one who ran and told our mama that I was saying bad words. So she had a reputation early on of being a tattle, but then she became so much more than that, and she was the pretty one, the one in the episode, The Firestorm, who entered the beauty pageant and was so heartbroken when she didn't win and blamed it on John Boy. She had to find her own identity as a character, as a person, Erin. And she did. She became strong and competent and I think followed in Mary Ellen's footsteps in that she became a real advocate for underdogs when she worked at the picket factory. She fought for women to be able to work and and for fairness there and for equal pay. In real life, Mary is very much an activist herself. I really admire that about Mary. Over the years, she has been one of my very best friends. We have shared so much together. One season between episodes, we had some, you know, we had our usual three months off and we decided to take a vacation together. We went on a cruise. That was a real adventure. We had a situation that occurred because we were assigned to a particular table for, for our meals and it was a lovely group of people at the table. Well, Mary and I had decided that we, we didn't want to make a big deal out of being on the Waltons. This was still at the height of the show's popularity. And there's an awkward thing about telling people. I mean, if someone recognized us, we weren't going to deny it, but we didn't feel like we were going to sit down at the table and go, hi, we're from the Waltons, because we thought that would sound really stuck up. Like, aren't we full of ourselves? So we chose not to make a point of announcing it. And later in the cruise, when some other people on the ship had recognized us, there were a couple people at our table who were very upset with us that they hadn't known and that we hadn't told them. So it was one of those sort of no-win situations. I, to this day, don't know what the best thing to do is in certain circumstances like that, where had we told them we could have been wrong for showing off and not telling them, we hurt their feelings, which was not our intention. But we did have a lot of fun together on the cruise. We shared a cabin and and got along great. We enjoyed all the same excursions, so it was very easy for us to make choices about what we were doing. And, and it was like, really traveling with my sister, which she is. Over the years, we have traveled to other places when one of us is working. I went to see her in Texas when she was doing a show. She came to see me when I was doing a show. So we've always supported each other along the way with our various different endeavors. When Mary started writing books, we're all so proud of her. She's she's such a beautiful writer. I. I write scripts, but the idea of tackling an entire book, I'm like, I'm leaving that to Mary because I can't imagine. I have a hard enough time facing a hundred blank pages of a script, never mind two, three, four hundred pages of a book. So this is me sharing my experiences of the Waltons in video form rather than in written form. I've shown up at various different functions of Mary's when she's had book signings and always wanted to be there to support her because I'm I think she's such a wonderful writer. So if you haven't read her books, you should. You know, she wrote the one about the lessons she learned on the Waltons, and then she's written at least a couple. She's working on another fiction book. One of them was turned into a Hallmark movie, which was really exciting. So she has become such a wonderfully accomplished person that I'm, I'm just so glad to be associated with. I guess it's, it's mimicking the show in many ways because there was an episode in a later season, The uh, Empty Nest, I think it was, when Aaron and Mary Ellen decide to move to the city and get an apartment together. And it's a very small apartment and they're on top of each other and John Curtis is there. And it doesn't last very long, but <laughs> it's sort of imitating, life imitating art, art imitating life, but very much the relationship of sisters that we had on the show was in later years was very much the relationship that Mary and I have in real life. She's a bit of our social director. Uh, she is always willing to organize something for the rest of us where 
perhaps someone else isn't going to step up and gather everybody together. Mary will. And she's really held us together at times, not because we didn't want to, but because it took that catalyst, organizing events, or people will go to her and then she'll reach out to the rest of us and say, someone's interested in gathering us together. That's been a really important part of the unity of the cast over the years. So she's also been responsible for producing a couple of the Walton reunions that we've done, not so much the scripted ones where we were in character, but when we got together and talked about being on the show and shared memories of the show as as a cast. And so she produced a couple of those and it's a tremendous amount of work. We were very grateful again for her taking that on and wearing all of the headaches that it takes to organize all of our cast and deal with all of the details of trying to keep everybody happy. So bravo to Mary. Other things that Mary and I shared in common is that she had a history of dance. I think she probably even took more dance than I did. I just took a little bit when I was very young, but she did more and a little gymnastics, uh, which I also did. Uh, so she was doing performance type stuff from a very early age. And she is actually the reason, one of the main reasons why I got involved in musical theater, because when I was 15, she invited me to go to a production that I believe her brother's high school was doing. It was a production of Camelot and she took me and I became absolutely enamored of musical theater and decided that that was something I wanted to pursue. So thank you, Mary, for another career path that I have been able to follow and love dearly, you know, both in performance and in writing and directing for theater. So our lives have intertwined in oh so many ways. So that's a little bit about Mary. If you don't know a lot about her, she's on social media. She has a website. Check her out, read her books, follow her work. She's an incredible person. So there you go. That's the behind the scenes of the Waltons. Mary McDonough, who played Aaron Walton. I'll be back with more. Please like, subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Feel free to share them with anyone who you know that's either a Walton lover or you think might just enjoy this. As I said, I don't think I'm going to write a book. So if you want to know what I thought about being on the Waltons, <laughs> watch my videos. There's a lot of them. So if you're just finding this one, I've talked about a lot of the cast already. I've talked about a number of episodes uh, that are some of my favorites or ones that, that uh, fans have asked about. I also do segments called Ask Judy, where I answer some of your questions. So if you have comments, questions, please put them in the comments below. I do try to read them and I try to answer as many of them as I can. Uh, please be respectful to the show and to your fellow fans and viewers. This is about it's about enjoying and honoring the Waltons. I really appreciate you being here and sharing my behind the scenes with the Waltons, and I'll see you next time.